a mixture of grease and tack. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be doing a wash and go. I haven't done one in ages, it's mainly because of the state of my hair and my hair wasn't in this, any fit state to be having a wash and go. Now there's no line of demarcation. This is where we are today. My curls are all uniform, back to normal, healthy. I'm going to be trying a hair product that I wasn't fond of. I tried in the beginning of my moisture journey and it might have been because my hair was two different textures it didn't work with my hair. I didn't necessarily like how this product felt on my hands, but I'm gonna try again today. I'm gonna try it and see if it was just me, my hair, or the product. Anyway guys, so this is not a talking video. I'm just gonna go and demonstrate. Carry on watching. Hey guys, so this is what I've got so far. It's a lot better than it was the first time I tried this. And I tried it a couple of times and it just, just wasn't sitting well on my hair. And it wasn't sitting right with me either. So I'm not in love with it. I mean, I've got great definition, but the reason something's just off, I don't know what it is. I think, I think it's the way it feels. It kind of feels a bit, a mixture of grease and tack. Um, it claims that it's a shrink defense, shrinkage defense. I don't mind shrinkage. I like the fact that I get shrinkage because it helps me shape my hair. It just makes me not want to touch it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna air dry it. I'm gonna see how that goes. Maybe I use too much. Did I use too much? Maybe. My hair definitely feels moisturized, but it feels too coated. Feels a little bit waxy, oily and greasy at the same time. But I do love the definition. I'm looking forward to seeing how this dries. So let me just carry on and I will come back to you when it's fully applied. Okay guys, so my hair is completely coated. This is what I've got so far. I do not think it defends against shrinkage. That's not necessarily what I'm looking for, so it doesn't bother me. But if you are looking for something that eliminates shrinkage or minimizes shrinkage, this is not the one. Personally, I think not. If you've got a hair type like mine, as you can see my hair is shrinking up a lot. This side, now it's drying, it doesn't feel so bad or tacky or like a coating. I think the best bet would be to sleep with my hair like this tonight. Come back to you in the morning when I've taken out my pineapple and see how my hair reacts overall. So I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm back. This is, um, how many days? I think this is like day three or four. Day four here, I believe. As you can see guys, my hair is quite big. I've been sleeping with a pineapple. <laughs> I've been sleeping with my hair up in a pineapple <laughs> and it stretched my hair tremendously. But guys, this is one of the reasons why I don't like doing wash and goes anymore. I, I think I figured it out. My hair tends to look dry and it feels dry. I do feel my hair is a little dry. Initially, when my hair started out in this wash and go, my hair looked super moisturized. Actually, I wouldn't gonna say super, that's an exaggeration. My hair looked moisturized. It looked shiny. Still does look a bit shiny, but it's more frizzy in certain parts. Now, is that due to me having my hair up in a pineapple? Possibly. Um, but also, I don't feel like I got a lot of hold from the product or I definitely didn't get a lot of shine from the product. I did get a lot of definition, as you can see. Um, 
I suppose it's just wear and tear. No, we don't want to use those words because we don't want our hair tearing, okay? So I suppose it's just uh, exposure of the hands in the hair over time. <laughs> but to be fair, this is usually when I wash my hair, when I have a wash and go. So I usually wash my hair every four days in a wash and go. If I'm wearing my hair in plaits with hair grease, I usually wash my hair it's either Saturdays or Sundays, so weekends basically is my wash day. But overall, guys, I definitely will be using the product again. I think I will need to put in a leave-in prior to applying the product. It seemed to mix very nice with gel, so I might use the product itself as a leave-in and then put the gel on top, or I might just use a cream leave-in and then put this as the styler. But overall, guys, it didn't do too bad. <laughs> I'm not super impressed, but I like it. It's okay. It's okay. Better. anyway guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i know you're watching so subscribe and i will see you in the next one take care bye bye